Hope for me means that men in prison who see the wrong that they have done and realize that they can have forgiveness by an almighty God. Hope means a lot to me now. Two and a half years ago, it meant nothing. I had no hope. Hope is the uh, expectation of things are yet and not seen. You, you don't see it, but you, you know it's coming. That belief, that faith. Hope is a wonderful word. Hope is an eternal thing. It's not just for the here and now. It is future as well as present. Hope means um, anticipation of that which you do not know yet. Hope to me is the fullness of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in your person. I have a hope now because that I have friends and they're the family of God. To me, hope is Jesus Christ. To all those who believe that they have nowhere to go, that they, through Christ, can reach their goals and change their life. The word of living hope, uh, to me personally, I would say that first of all you must rely entirely on God. Yes, you might live on hope, but hope must be based on faith in God. Before I didn't come to prison, I, I didn't have no hope because I stayed in, in the street. Uh, I was uh, using drugs, uh, I was drunkard. I didn't think about how I, uh, to stay, I didn't know about God. But now I have a hope that I may meet, I may see God, I may see Jesus. I think to give someone hope is one of the most precious things you can do. There is hope in Christ. If you see Christ as a personal savior, there is hope. He tells me that seek ye first to the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. Brothers, that is where my hope is. Our future is uh, that uh, we will give hope to the hopeless when they come out. It is where I met God and I gave my life to Jesus. Well, I just think the prison fellowship is doing a wonderful work and um, with all types of prisoners and prisoners' families. Many of these men are in a hopeless condition and we go in to give them a real useful life in Christ. We introduce them to a new life in Jesus Christ. I knew God's forgiveness, washing away the sin of the past and the peace that came with it. I just knew deep in my heart that God had forgiven me and changed me. And I down on my knees and prayed. For the first time seriously in my life I prayed. My dream is to see the men, the prisoners, transformed. To see in each of them Christ-like rebirth. And to know that they believe and will do their best to become a different person and to live their lives like they were meant to. I want to thank the Prison Fellowship Ministry and ask them to continue forward in their work because many of us have lost our families and they have become our families and they are the ones that bring us hope and a feeling of love and motivate us to hold our head high and to seek the Lord. For 25 years, Prison Fellowship has been bringing hope to men and women who thought they had none. In the forgotten places, in the darkest times, hearts that were once hard have been broken, and through the love and forgiveness of Jesus Christ, made whole again. Lives that once seemed completely ruined have been miraculously saved. Every year has seen the work of Prison Fellowship spread further, delivering God's message of living hope throughout the world. 25 years is just the beginning.